started in the in the toilet area. We wanted to do cedar on the inside to kind of just give it a good look and uh, fresh smell right. And then that kind of idea kind of grew out from the toilet area, kind of grew to the rest of the bathroom. Uh, we actually only ended up doing one wall, kind of as an accent wall uh, with the wood, which turned out really well. We really like it. Um, so a few things is firstly to tell our, our secret to our, on ourselves. Uh, these aren't some fancy shiplap boards or anything like that. These are simply uh, cedar fence pickets um, that we got from our local uh, orange hardware store. Uh, they had dog ears on, we just cut the dog ears off and then alternated the seams just to kind of break up the monotony a little bit uh, and just give it just a, just a fun look, right? So if you notice there are gaps in between our boards, that was not on purpose, okay? Uh, I seem like I always forget dealing with lumber that things expand um, and contracts with moisture, right? And so, being these are fence because they have a lot of moisture from being outside and storage, and whatnot. So, uh, they end up shrinking like an, uh, a sixteenth of an inch on each side, right? Which creates then creates uh, eighth inch gaps. Uh, but it's not that big a deal; it still looks good. Uh, but we started in the toilet area, and our plan was okay. We'll paint the wall a really dark brown, just in case you see through the cracks. Uh, it'll look nice. We started putting the cedar fence pickets up and we're like, oh, it's fine. They're, they're real tight, buttered up together. We don't need to paint the wall brown. So we moved out here, we didn't paint this wall brown, we just left it white. And then the fence picket shrunk and lo and behold, hey, there's a white wall back there. It's okay. It's not the end of the world, uh, but if I could go back do, and do one thing, it would be to paint the walls um, just a dark color, like a dark brown, right? Uh, they look really good. Um, it will kind of throw you for a loop when you go to do, uh, if you do Nutrient like we did, uh, the way we did it. Um, keep in mind when you add this layer of fence pickets, you're raising the whole wall, right? Like five eighths of an inch. So luckily they make uh, like a PVC block style uh, trim, which literally just kind of rose, raised, whatever, uh, extended the door frame five eighths to give us a flush surface to mount our trim to. That way it just flows nicely into the door frame. So it's trim all the way to the door frame, right? Um, so that was a little trick we learned as well, as long as, as well as the, with the baseboards. Um, trying to think what else. It gives a nice, uh, you know, red cedar smell. Uh, it kind of wears off after the first year. Uh, what we can do is just kind of go back and sand uh, on the wood and it'll just bring out uh, the same aroma again. And the way we install these, uh, we use the lowest grade of Loctite Blue, uh, since we're indoors, we don't have to use the super strong stuff. Uh, and then coupled with uh, brad nails, and we use probably six or seven brad nails depending on how long the board was. Um, but just long enough so that glue can really harden and, and hold it in place. So your glue is your strength, not the nails. The nails are just kind of there to be a temporary hold. And the brad nails are pretty thin, you, they kind of just go away. I mean, I can see them if I'm looking for them. But um, they kind of blended in with the rough rough wood. Um, thought about sanding them, started sanding them when we first put them up, but realized uh, for the work we were going to have to put into it, it wasn't worth it. So they're literally just raw fence pickets. So you feel them, that's what they feel like. But again, that's not the end of the world for us. It's not like we've brushed past it and got our clothes caught or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty look um, for an accent wall. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.